Hi guys, welcome to the Saturday vlog. I think this is going up Saturday. And I'm vlogging because this is my 100th ride. I'm so excited. Hopefully I'll get some footage. I know the last vlog I got like one clip just like walking in. Hopefully I can get a little bit more uh, footage. But overall it's just like kind of hard because there's a lot of people and then you're just sitting in a basically a dark room riding a bike. So it's not that deep, but uh, hopefully, I don't know. I'm just excited because like the hundredth ride is kind of a big deal. At least I think it is because in some of the cycle bars, they have these little plaques that you can like sign that say 100 on it. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm claiming it, like get the energy, you know. I am extremely tired, but that's okay. Okay, so I just got out of spin. I feel like we're reliving the same day because we kind of are. Um, but today was my 100th ride and it was so good. I'll show you guys my little cycle stats here. Um, they email you after the ride. I think I actually, like I actually kind of tried on this one, not gonna lie. It was my 100th ride and it was a gen. So I got sixth and all these are all like my little stats if you wanna like read it. Yeah, no, these white, the white bikes are definitely harder to like rank higher in, in my opinion, um, than the black ones. I think it's just because they're older, but that's how I did. And now I'm going to go to Starbucks because that's part of the routine. I need to, guys, I'm thinking about starting more Instagram reels because one of my reels, which if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I posted, um, uh, my mini keychain that I showed you guys in my last video and it has like almost 10,000 views guys like what's going on Th this like it's crazy okay like I haven't gotten that many views on YouTube in like forever let alone Instagram like so what I'm thinking about doing is just doing a lot more reels and frankly like I was talking to one of my friends about Instagram like how many times do you guys visit like actual profiles of Instagram I mean, I do sometimes, um, like of an influencer if I want to see their highlights, but honestly, like I don't visit someone's profile a lot enough to where I'm like, oh my God, she has such a cute feed anymore because reels have like taken over. So I think I'm going to drop the feed. I think I'm going to drop make trying to make my feed look good because it's not doing anything for me i get 30 something likes on my photos like my photos don't get a lot of traction unless i'm like showing my butt which one where i was showing my butt got like 40 likes so i mean it's not like that those are even doing well either so I am gonna do reels and like I might post some stupid shit, but like my plastic cup keychain did so well. Like, and I know not all of them are gonna be like getting a thousand views. Like, some might get 500, but dude, that's more than I'm getting on here. And now I've made money from Instagram twice and like two months. So I made my first paycheck, it was like a hundred something dollars and then a few months go by and then like I make my other, another hundred something dollars and even though that's not as much as I get from YouTube, it's starting to equate what I get on YouTube now because I feel like after privating my big video that like I've kind of gotten just taken out of the algorithm a little bit, which I understand that like shit happens, um, but I think I'm going to start focusing on Instagram a little bit more because <laughs> the views and the luck there for me has been much better lately than YouTube, but obviously like YouTube's my passion and like this is what I like to do, so obviously like nothing's going to change here, but it's just like, hmm, a frustrating game. And I was also telling my friend too, we were talking about how Instagram's just changing now. It's definitely not like when Instagram first started and it's definitely not like when we uh, used to take like, well we still take cute pictures and stuff and it's still fun, but it's not like focusing on the feed and everything is just not a thing anymore and 
you don't really visit people's profiles anymore, which is true. So why even focus on that? Like what I need to be focusing on is just posting reels, posting a picture when I feel like it, like, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter who you're following. Cause like, it doesn't matter how many people or who you follow because so that's why I'm just been kind of like saying what the hell with Instagram and being crazy on there like well not going not being crazy but just like not caring as much and I think I'm gonna stop caring about like oh is this like picture gonna go well with the one underneath and the one over okay I'm like going on a tangent but as you can see I've like been thinking about this and I think that I'm just gonna relax about it and have fun with Instagram and not take it so serious and hopefully maybe some success will come my way. Okay, so I think I forgot to mention this. I don't know if I did or not, but my friend London, she has like two names, but my friend London, um, she gave me a little Starbucks gift card for reaching like 100 rides. So thank you if you watch this video. I don't know if she watches my stuff. Maybe she does. Um, Cause I remember telling her like, oh, let's not watch it like together. Cause I always feel like that's super awkward in, in my opinion, like watching myself like with someone else. Well, my family vlogs are different. Like, cause it's like a home video, but like, just like my daily vlogs, like I'm like, oh, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you to her. That was like, such a surprise to me because um like sometimes she just like randomly does that like sends me little coffee things like coffee gift cards which is like really nice so I don't know it's just one of those little things that it's the little things in life you know so anyway just wanted to include that in this vlog on my way to work I always pass this Krispy Kreme donuts and it's just so tempting but I'm kind of glad that like you know, I'm going, what, like 45 miles an hour and don't want to turn in there because I'm just dead shotting it like down to work. Okay, so I am on my way home. I'm almost home, but I'm going to stop by the grocery store because because Valerie wants some chips and I've been craving chip and dip after like eating it one night. So I'm going to get some sour cream. So I can make myself some dip because the chips are like almost always like buy one get one so I'm hoping that they'll be on sale I need to get some salad stuff too I've had salad like all this week like at least for one meal which is totally fine um, because I like salad like it's not a bad thing but uh, because Valerie's not cooking we just don't have any ideas and I know Sherry's trying to be like really strict about her diet so I'm gonna run into the store and then I'm gonna come home and we'll make the little dip together. I'm thinking I'll have salad and a couple of hot dogs with um, the dip that I make, cause it's so good. It's like the French onion dip. So hopefully I will get some footage in the grocery store. And also too, this is kind of like a little celebration for um, my 100th ride. So I'm kind of using that as an excuse, even though during summer, like I crave like the junk food. I don't know why. It's like summer and winter, but winter makes sense because your your body's like saving energy because it's cold and stuff. So it's, I don't know. I feel like we're like bears in that sense. We're like going into hibernation or something and like our bodies want to put on weight. But during the summer, it's just all about like the chips and the hot dogs and stuff like 4th of July. Like you guys know, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Sherry, how was work? It was fine. Good. She was in the lounge today. I was. As you can see by the outfit. The outfit, absolutely. Say out of the vlog, Valerie. Hello. She's cooking herself with some food. I brought home Sherry some chicken. I know, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. And then I have my salad here. And we got the chips going on. We good. Yeah. Didn't want to forget to vlog the chip and dip. Yeah. The next day. 
Good morning guys, it's the next day. Got the coffee, it's literally just part of my routine and I made sure that I could get it and still like be on time at work. But as you guys can see, I kinda did a light makeup look because I filmed this TikTok. Um, it's the, hi, I'm Dory one. And I wanted to film that this morning because I want it to go up like Saturday. It's my post for Fabletics because I emailed my contact at Fabletics asking like, hey, can I post a reel instead of an in-feed post? Because my in-feed posts of photos are not doing so well. Um, it's super annoying. And like one picture that I was like, I really loved this picture and I like posted it almost like at, at noon, you know, like a good time to post. And it literally got like 20 likes and I was just like, Oh my goodness. It was just really discouraging. I really do think I'm gonna push the real side um, because it's just where Instagram is going, unfortunately. I still love taking pictures and everything like that. It's one of my true passions. Like I love doing like little photo shoots and stuff. But honestly now I think I'm gonna have to change my passion and like film Dancy videos, outfit videos, but I already filmed videos for YouTube, but I think I'm just gonna like try to incorporate both of them. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because you film horizontal for YouTube, but for all these other platforms, you film vertical. So yeah, I'm just like, I'm a little annoyed, but I got up today, showered, washed my hair because it was hair washing day, and then I filmed the reel. Like, I think this is the fastest I've ever filmed a reel, but I kind of like mapped out like in my brain what I wanted it to be like. So I wanted the first shot of me like saying, hi, I'm Dory, obviously like close up. And then I wanted to show my outfit. And then I wanted like a full body shot um, at the end saying like, let's go or something, whatever it says. So I filmed that in probably 10 minutes, which was like crazy. Cause as you guys know, I take forever to film TikToks because you have to get it just right. And I really hate when my lips are out of sync with the, with the audio, but, um, like my one that I did with my mom's, I literally only did that in one take and my lips are a little off on the second like part where she talks and it bothers me so I can't watch that one. But again, it was like, it was last week. So I, it was very difficult for me because I only had time to take one take and I wanted to take it when my hair and makeup was done because honestly, let's, let's just face it, the more like put together you look online, the more attention you get. So I only had time, cause my mom was driving me that day to do that take for that part of the TikTok once. So I'm like, okay, it'll do because the first part is like in sync. So yeah, as you guys can see, like my uh, situation, my ranting and stuff, hope this isn't too boring, but like as we're seeing with social media, it's changing drastically and yeah, like, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, uh, but it's okay. Um, I'm glad you guys are here to listen to me and my thoughts as I go to work. And, uh, but yeah, the TikTok came out really cute and I'm happy with it. And my lips are in sync both times. Little Dory or whoever's talking is to like, my mouth matches the sound, which is good. And then my cuts match the beat because I had to do the self timer thing. It was just like a, th a whole a whole thing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now, but I thought this would be like a good time to vlog because yeah, I'm just in the car driving. This is so random, but I don't know if you guys can tell, like I think I'm in a windstorm. Like, look, I don't know. It's just like so windy and like dry. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, uh, it's kind of awkward. I don't know if you guys can even tell. I know my windshield's dirty, but still. To continue on with the video, I got this fun package. It is it is from Janet Gwynn Designs, and I actually just bought this myself because 
I needed a new AirPod case because um, my AirPod case, I lost the top and it just like really bothered me. This is from the same company that my other case was from. Um, my other case was a great Christmas present. I loved it so much. Um, but I, again, like I lost the top. Just ended up getting the same one, except it's in a different color. The other one kind of came in this little carrying pouch, but this one came like this in this little box. The little keychain's kind of uh, detached, but that's okay. Then we had this little card. It just says, to be honest, you're the best. It was like a little QR code, which looks fun. I'm so happy to have gotten this because I really needed another case for my AirPods. This is what the back of the box looks like. So I'm just gonna put my AirPod case in this real quick. I'm gonna clean them too, cause like it's a little dirty. Like my, <laughs> my AirPods need a little cleaning. So I'm gonna clean those as well. I'm excited to have this. And then my other one too did not have like the indentation either. Like. As you guys can see, this one says Janet Gwen on it. My other one did not have this because I think her shop was still like a little new, um, but now she's like more established, I think. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys my little case. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. There we go. But I love this color. It's very like a muted nude color. Um, they say it's pink, but I guess in different lighting it looks different, but I just think it looks so cute. Um, I had a like a mauve pink color one before. I'm sure you guys seen it. Um, if you watch my what I got for Christmas video, I show it there. I still have my old keychain too. Like I kept that, but I threw away the plastic part of the old one just cause I don't need it. This is what it looks like. I love it so much. And I'm kind of glad that my AirPods have a case again because I feel like the case without the the original airpod case is just too tiny i feel like it will just like slip out and like i'll lose them if i don't have like a more substantial case on them and every time i put on the case or take off the case i feel like i'm gonna break this like lever the lid it freaks me out 